FM 1021, it's 920, bringing in the local music once again. The guys from Daydreams are here, Adler, and uh, there's so many that we had to split them up. It's a two-part. It's a two-part two part segment. <laughs> Please welcome to the studio, Scott, Mike, and Dan, the first uh, half of Daydreams. Guys, we'll get to you later on. Over there. We promise. <laughs> Did we lose them? Where are they? They're, they're still there. Are they? Yeah. They're playing with that football you have in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had a lot of toys at the radio station. None of them are worth anything to <laughs> anybody else. So we There's an Optimus Prime over there. Oh, yeah. That's pretty oh, yeah. cool, too. Yeah, that's pretty old school. Somebody yeah. figure out how to, how to transform it back into a truck because <laughs> it was just a robot for many days. <laughs> so, guys, you uh, must have just heard us talking about the Skip and Go Naked because you, you hand-delivered us Ar- Arnold Palmer half-and-half half iced tea and lemonades. Yeah, come bearing gifts. Now, what's the deal with Ar- Arnold Palmer? Why do you love an 83-year-old yeah. professional golfer? Why not? <laughs> right. That's really what, what is the question. question. It's, it, why, why don't you try it, and then you can tell us why we love it so much. Uh, it, no. It's the life will taste. How, wait a second. How come you're not drinking the Arnold Palmer? I am. Oh, it's a different it's a green <laughs> tea. Oh, yeah. No, it's um, more athletes should actually have drinks because then you can put your your personal stats on the side of the can. Exactly. As he does. This is something, Adler. Did you, did you give it a word? I've had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm familiar with this. I Wait, are you guys that. sponsored by Arnold Palmer Beverages? No, we're trying to be. That's yeah, a good thing. We're, we're lobbying Arizona for... <laughs> no, you, you also have his uh, his likeness on your bass drum, yep. right? Yeah, on the bass, bass drum. Big fans, basically. Yeah, he's a big inspiration. 17 career hole-in-ones. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 and, and you're wearing a, a cardigan sweater, which, which Arnold Palmer favors. He does. Now... <laughs> Back in the 60s and 70s, he usually just wore the pullover V-necks. <laughs> and it's the penguin, too, which, which he, I think, wore. He does. Or a a he penguin, did. at least. Seriously, guys? It's an interesting like, Do you product. think this is going to last for a long time? Like this? It's the the this whole main... time we've been a band. Really? Yeah, yeah we yeah. went to, we were writing songs. We went to a convenience store, picked it up, and it basically went from there. We had a good <laughs> songwriting day. And Have you contacted <laughs> Arizona Ice Tea? Not yet. Us, we have plans to. You should, you should write a jingle for them. Send it yeah. in. Uh, nah. All of the songs are actually jingles for him. <laughs> <laughs> All the songs are jingles for a very specific tribute. product. It's not like, you know, it's like very, very specific. It's like Manwich or, or, or Hormel Chili. You're like, we love this. We do. Which, Interesting. Which is awesome. Hey, guys, how did you uh, how did you all get together and, and form Daydreams? Well, we've been, we've been playing music for a while. We were all in different bands in mm-hmm. high school in our local scene. And then I think one late night going out last year, we kind of just threw the idea around, and somehow we all woke up the next day and thought we'd actually act <laughs> Yeah. And then it's happened. All right, so. It was a good idea because we love the sound, obviously. Yeah. Um, you. You're playing Thank at you. Summerfest uh, tomorrow at 2.30 in the Briggs and Stratton stage. Now, you... You got the gig because you won a contest, eh? That's correct. Yeah, Milwaukee's downtown battle of the bands. Nice. Cathedral and Square Park. Well done. Cathedral Square Park. Where do you did you play down there then? Yes. Yeah. 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 Trying to picture. It's where they have jazz in the park. Okay. Yeah. They had a they had a battle Fox, of bands. Fox there? Fox Six was was covering that. That was in the morning though. Oh. So I wonder if that was yeah. No, that, that was it. at the. No. Uh, that's where that's the. That's Pure Marquette. Yeah. Never mind. Interesting. Well, guys, explain the song here, because this is an awesome song yeah. title, too. Are you making that face on purpose? Is that about Arnold Palmer, making the face <laughs> in the can? All, yeah, all, all of our songs are about Arnold Palmer. Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's that song's really about uh, just love, love for the yeah. love we have for everyone. And Arnold. And Arnold. <laughs> Arnold included. Well, let's get to the song so we can bring the other half of the band in. Uh, Scott, Mike, and Dan, thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. The band is Daydreams playing tomorrow at the Briggs and Stratton stage, 2.30. Check out these guys. Are you making that face on purpose from Daydreams, Cramp and Adler? Music in the morning, FM 1021.
FM 1021 Mornings with Cramp and Adler. The band is Daydreams. They're going to be playing Saturday. 2.30. Like an end warble. Yeah. Love Give the, me an uh, end warble. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do that uh, when you're playing live, or was that studio magic at the end? No, it's we do it live. Yeah. It's just part of the things we bring to the table for that's, the live shows. So. That's awesome. Live wizardry. <laughs> Wait, we've got, we got three new guys yeah, in the studio now. Three, three new guys. Which part of the, two, that, this two. would be the name of our morning show if we would have a Nick. It's it's John, Brian, and Nick. Yeah. So really, this is uh-huh. a, a very odd, bizarro world yes, of what this is. show could be. Indeed. Yes, it is bizarro. You'd have to find a Nick. <laughs> uh, so guys, um, what do you do for the band? Like, yeah, yeah, you, just, you just rock out? Uh, like, what do you play? I'm John. I play drums. Cool. I'm Nick. I play keyboards and some percussion. Things. Okay. Okay, see? The, the meat. The meat yeah. right there. I, know, I was going to say to the other guys, get that you guys play at the Brigham Stratton stage tomorrow at 2.30. The difference between, let's say, a 2.30 gig on a Tuesday yeah. and a 2.30 gig on the 4th of July yeah. wow. is a, a, a yeah. huge... I like this. If you're going to play at 2.30, this is actually the best time to do it, mm-hmm. which I think it's kind of cool. Your sound, I think, kind of caters to, honestly, that time of day. It's, oh, yeah. I mean, and uh, honestly, it's daydreams. So, <laughs> yeah, really, yeah, yeah. I, if you were a night ranger, I yeah, think, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you're, you're yeah. stuck after 7. Yeah, if 10, you were, 10 a.m. isn't a good time for night ranger. Right, if you were a night ranger, you wouldn't be in here. At, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. And ideally, if you were a fog hat, you'd have to play at 6 in the morning, <laughs> which I wish is when they would. So, guys, we talked to them a little bit about the um, that song and um, how you guys formed, but I really am impressed with the sound itself. Where did you guys record this, the CD? Uh, it's uh, Mission Control Studios, a uh, good friend who's been in uh, some inspirational bands uh, that we liked, uh, mm-hmm. Not A Word. Okay. Um, Matt Miller uh, yeah. recorded us. He, he's a great guy. Uh, yeah, it was a great time to record out in Gurney. Man, that's great. Yeah. Is he taking on other bands, too? Um, or? I, I think he's open for other possible uh, projects. So yeah. He has a, he has yeah, a MySpace. Yeah. You can find him on there, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah that's a really, I mean, it's a really great sound. So after Summerfest is done and... Uh, you know, you're like, oh wow, you know, we just played Summerfest because it's a very exciting thing to to play. So I know that. What yeah. do you think the the next step is for Daydreams? What are you guys gonna do? Yeah, I'm not not really sure. <laughs> I mean, we're uh, planning on recording again very yeah. soon. We might try to do our own thing. Um, it's a kind of four track thing and just keep getting music out there for free and yeah. Just keep playing. I like that. I like that idea too. Just keep recording, keep on like giving the fans some new music, something are to look there, forward uh, to every every time I see them play. Are there other bands locally that you guys are, are playing with? pretty regularly or are you guys just sort of picking people up as you go along yeah i mean it's been a it's been a good mix mm-hmm. we play with jay flash we play with jay flash quite a bit okay we you know we've played with 1956 yeah okay. oh, great. great guys yeah. yeah but uh yeah i mean really we'll play anytime <laughs> yeah well yeah. make sure you uh get a chance to check out these guys tomorrow daydreams is a band 2 30 tomorrow briggs and stratton stage uh, the web page is daydreams music uh, that's on MySpace too, right? Yeah, yeah. it's just like a link. It goes. Okay, through. awesome guys. Thanks for stopping in the Thank studio. You guys for waking thanks up. for having us. Uh, Scott, Mike, Dan, Brian, John, Nick, Dreams. The song you heard was "Are You Making That Face on Purpose?" And you can find that song under MySpace page. And go check them out at Summerfest. Support local music here in Milwaukee. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. Uh, it's nine thirty-one. Cramp and Adler FM one hundred.